Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Call My Teachers Photography, class number 83, coming at you from the Big Apple. And what do we have today? Well, this episode was an idea I had after all the videos of Canon and Nikon coming out recently with a full line of telephoto lenses costing thousands and thousands thousands of dollars. Hold on guys. Remember, Nikon has been in the lens business for decades and their glass didn't go down. It wasn't a it wasn't a terrible purchase back in 1987 when I bought this 300 mm F4 ED AF telephoto prime lens all metal it was two grand when it came out how is everybody today we are going to be discussing that it is the perfect time right now in the spring 2022 to purchase older nikkor glass for your f mount camera here's what i'm talking about um, this 300 millimeter prime, okay, this is the Nikkor, Nikkor ED 300 millimeter prime, okay, F mount goes from F4 to F32, autofocus, there's no motor inside, so your camera has to have the screw in the back, your camera has to have the motor for the autofocus, 39 millimeter drop-in filters okay 39 millimeter drop-in filters which are required and needed for this lens it has to do with the focusing onto your uh, sensor or film all right it has automatic your choice of automatic or manual focusing okay it has a uh, distance limiter right if you don't want it to go all the way from eight feet minimum focus to infinity just to focus on something you can limit it say you're only taking uh sports action or wildlife you don't need it to go to eight feet so you can limit it on how far you want it to focus all right uh built-in tripod collar right here built-in lens hood this i have some uh gaffer's tape to keep it extended out now this lens made in japan right now in mint condition is only 300 dollars. this is an all metal there's very few elements in here i think it's only an eight element lens okay now remember in a zoom lens there's more elements and more glass and it steals light and it steals information let's talk about the rendition of this the color rendition is absolutely beautiful. In a few minutes, you're going to see a half a dozen or so photographs that I took today with this mountain on the Nikon D3. Handheld, I went to a local park and I took photographs with it. You're going to see them in a few minutes. And you tell me about the sharpness and the color rendition. Now, let me just tell you something how to save some money when you buy these. All right. When these were made, it came with the big leather boot to put over the front. It's a, that imitation leather uh, cover. It had the drawstrings. If it doesn't have it, don't worry. That's a bargaining tool to get it for a lower price. Uh, manufacture Optic, okay? They sell a much better all foam cover for the front, okay? So that's one thing. Don't worry about it. This also came with a case. It's another bargaining tool if it doesn't have it. This case from Power Extra, okay, the lens fits in here perfectly. So you put the lens in, and then you put the, the cover in from Optic on it, and you're all set. These are bargaining tools. So don't worry if your lens doesn't come with the case or with the lens hood, the lens cover, all right? 
Uh, let's just make sure I have everything here. So this was made from 87 to 2000, a 13 year run. Do you think Nikon would continue to make a lens if it wasn't selling? They sold thousands and thousands of these to the pro, to pros and semi-pros. Perfect. It's an F4, wildlife, action, sports. This is the lens you want. I've taken this out like I just said today. Today I shot neither of those. I shot landscapes. Wait till you see the floral pictures I took with this. It's coming up in one minute. Uh, let's see. Minimum focus is eight feet. It takes an 82 millimeter front filter and there is one on here. Okay, I put a Hoya 82 millimeter. It's all about protection. All right. Uh, it's nine, it's only nine inches long. All right, if, you, if the lens hood is collapsed. It is 47 ounces, all right? So when you're out shooting with this lens, you want to hold the camera and lens combination by the lens, never by the camera. Because this could snap off your whole mounting ring on your camera, all right? Any long, heavy telephoto lens, you always want to walk around holding it by the lens, okay? Uh, you can see mine has brassing starting, right? I bought this new 1987, two grand. You can buy it, not mine. You can buy these all day long on eBay. They're 300 bucks, made in Japan. Now remember, I say this, this is the 83rd class. I need you guys to understand if you're gonna purchase a lens or a camera on eBay, two most important things. Their credibility rating, look for 100% credibility eBay calls it feedback. The lowest you can go, and I'll be very upset if you go lower, when you buy something from a seller that has less than 99.2%. The second thing to remember, how many feedbacks do they have? You never want to buy a, a camera or a lens from somebody that has two feedbacks. Ultimate, you want to get a seller that has 100% feedback and a thousand feedbacks okay that's how you get a truthful description they will work with you if something's wrong with it because they don't want to upset their hundred percent credibility feedback rating it's cherished it's a hundred percent all right it's like a five-star rating on amazon you want to you want to purchase your lens and camera on eBay. It's very safe. Even if the seller says no returns allowed, it's baloney, you can return it. Okay? So, back to the lens. Uh, I can't say enough about it. I think the best thing to do right now, just go through everything that I wanted to mention. Yep, covered everything. So, Right now, you're going to look at a half a dozen or so photographs that I took today with this lens, the 300 millimeter Nikon EDAF F4 lens, the AF lens. It's not AFS. There's no focusing motor in here. Okay. You have to use it on a camera. If you want to use the autofocus, you have to make sure that it has the screw, that your camera has the little screw that comes out to turn the focusing in here, okay? If you don't, you can still use it on, on an F-mount camera, all right? But you'll have to focus yourself. No big deal, okay? So let's take a look at the photographs taken today in a local park by me when this was mounted on a Nikon D3. Let's look at those photographs. Hold on, let's get dramatic. Let's look at those photographs right now. <laughs> 